There you are. It's all right. You're gonna find your parents. Baby, you okay? Yeah. Just go back to sleep. Pretty bad for it to wake you up like that. I don't really remember. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, I just couldn't go back to sleep last night. Do you want me to make you breakfast or something? No, 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 I gotta go. I got that big presentation with Lexa people this morning, so. Yes, mm -hmm. that's right. How about we grab dinner tonight? Okay. You sure you're okay? Yeah. Sarah, it was just a bad dream. If you don't go now, we're both going to be late. Okay. Wish me luck. Good luck. <laughs> Maybe this part over here. I think that's good. <laughs> Miss Randall. Yes, Marianne. My zipper's stuck. I can't take my jacket off. Huh. Let me see here. Oh, your shirt is caught in the zipper. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Don't throw your jacket on the ground. I won't. Okay. What is going on with these kids today? Mm. Girl, they are running around like it's a full moon or something. Oh, I don't know. <sighs> mm. Someone seems a bit out of it. No, I'm fine. I just didn't get any sleep last night. Something wrong? No, no. I just have a lot on my mind. How's everything at home? Everything's great with Tony. <laughs> Uh, you know what? All I know is that you gotta hold on to him because you certainly don't want to end up like me. Tamara, what's happening? Did you break up with Mr. Married Man? <sighs> I couldn't do it. What, Tamara? I know, I know, but the problem is that I love him and I know that he loves me. Then why doesn't he leave her? They always say they're gonna leave and they never do. Clara, I told you, it's a financial thing. Look, he started his company with her money. So when he gets the divorce, he's gonna lose everything. He needs to know that if things don't change, he's going to lose you. Clara, I don't expect you to understand this. But this is real, I know it is. Just the other night, he was telling me about these plans he has for a new company. He is gonna have his own money real soon, and all I have to do is be patient and give him a little time. What is this man's name? You can't even tell me his name. Ugh, I can't. I told you, okay? Look, you know you're my BFF, right? <laughs> but I just can't right now. I just hate the idea of anyone playing you for a fool. Saved by the bell. All right, kids, you heard the bell. It is time to go. Single file lines. Get inside and learn something, please. <laughs> Babe, I'm telling you, you should have seen me today. I was like, I was on fire. They're all over me. Talking about putting me in charge of the whole account. 
Which is a bigger pay bump, let me tell you. That's great. Hey, this is sort of a big deal. I thought you'd be a little bit more excited. No, I am. Really. Okay, babe. What's going on? Because you haven't been the same since this morning. <laughs> you know, I've, I've been having a hard time focusing all day. I'm still thinking about that dream. Wow, really? I know it's crazy. No, 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 it's not. I mean, look, it happens. Sometimes bad dreams, they can really shake you up. I'm not sure it was a dream. Well, what else could it be? Um, I mean, it was a dream, but it was something that really happened a long time ago. When I was a little girl, I used to see things that happened to people. People I didn't even know. And then they would actually happen. So you mean you, you saw things before they happened? When I was nine years old, I asked my father to take me to the park. And when we got there, I shot out of the car. Now, I, I'd never been there before, but I knew exactly where I was going. And there he was. Who? A little boy who got lost. And if I hadn't found him, who knows what would have happened. Okay, so then what? Did your parents believe you? I think my mother did, but she would never admit it. And then the visions just, they stopped. I haven't thought about it in 20 years. <sighs> Not until now. Hey. Look, I'm here, okay? No matter what this is, no matter what's going on in that beautiful head of yours, I'm not going anywhere, all right? To Lexus. Yes. <laughs> Baby, congratulations. Just a bad dream. No, I saw it. Yeah, but you also saw yourself running through the woods trying to find this lost boy. Okay, now that wasn't some sort of vision. That was just a memory. So maybe your mind is just playing tricks on you. No. <laughs> this, this wasn't some repressed memory or a dream. Mary Ann Gray, that's her name. She, she's a student at the school. And... It felt exactly like it did before when I was little. But that doesn't mean that anything is really going to happen. It always did before. OK, but why now? I mean, you said yourself that happened like what, like 20 years ago? Why is this happening now all of a sudden? I don't know. Look, this is going to um, sound weird or whatever, but, but maybe you should see somebody about this. I mean, talk to someone professionally and get some good advice on it, you know? Do you think I'm losing it? you think I'm making this up? <laughs> no, baby, I didn't say that, okay? I swear. Maybe you should just call in sick, okay? Take a couple of days off. I mean, you haven't slept in, like, two days. No, 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 no. I have to go to school. I have to make sure she's all right. Okay. But will you at least, please, just, just take it easy? You believe me, right? Yes, I believe you. I have to get dressed.
all right? Yeah. I'm just waiting for one of our kids. She hasn't come in yet. Which one? Marianne Gray. Oh. <laughs> she's in my class. You know, there's that nasty bug going around, so she's probably out sick. I'll just check with the office and see if her parents called. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, you might want to get back to class real soon because uh, your little darlings might notice you're missing. Mm -hmm. Okay? See you in a minute. Tony Prescott. I can't take your call right now, but leave a message. Tony, it's it's me again, baby. Um, I, th I know you're busy. But something happened, and I don't know what to do. So could you uh, call me, please? In a news conference just a short time ago, the child's parents, Richard and Donna Gray, issued a very emotional appeal asking for any information at all about their missing daughter. Please, anyone out there knows where our little girl Mary is. Please help us find her. She, uh, she had on a pink top and a, a pink top and jeans. Please, just, just, just bring my baby home. Mrs. Gray, weren't you with your daughter when she was taken? Did you see who took her? Could you identify the person? How about the car? You remember a car, Mrs. Gray? Weren't you watching your daughter? Yes, but I, I just turned my head for what a moment to... What is wrong to... with you people? Don't you understand? Our daughter has just been kidnapped. How dare you try to blame my wife? All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, we have an Amber Alert out for Marianne Gray. Eight years old, African-American. Dark hair, dark eyes. She was last seen wearing... Detective Ruiz, is this disappearance at all related to the other two missing African-American girls? We're not going to speculate on that. My concern is to bring Marianne Gray home safe. But some we people are saying that all these little girls disappearing at the same time... Uh, it's all right, you know what? That's it. That's it. Okay, look, just help us find this little girl, all right? Thank you. Let's go. It's all. No, it's all. Let's go. Oh, what is he talking about? What is he talking about? What is he talking about? Tony! Hey, baby. Look, sorry about that. I've been in these meetings all day for the Lexa spots. And babe, Frank and Tim, they're talking about flying me to New York for the shoot. That's so exciting! Thanks. So what's going on? You all right? Mm -hmm. Um, no, everything's fine. Just, um, when do you think you're gonna be done? I'm not really sure. Um, we're still up to our necks with a bunch of stuff. Maybe pretty late. But look, tomorrow's Saturday, so why don't I just plan on coming down then? Okay. 
I'm really, really proud of you. Thanks, babe. Hey, everything's gonna be just fine, okay? You just wait and see. Tony. Okay, babe, I gotta go. I gotta Wait, get back in there, okay? I love you. I... I love you too. Looking for Father Murray. Ah, Father Murray. He's retired. I'm his replacement. Retired? When did this happen? Well, apparently, uh, pretty quickly. They needed someone on short notice. I got the call, and here I am. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. He wasn't that old. Yeah. Oh, burnout, maybe. <laughs> it happens. No, not Father Murray. Were you a friend of his? You could say that. I'm Clara Randall. I used to live in this neighborhood. This used to be my church. Father Benjamin. Gosh, Father Murray, he... used to really look out for us, you know? Keep us out of trouble. It's been a long time since I've seen him. So you decided to come back and take a little trip down memory lane? Well, he was really there for us, you know? I could talk to him about anything, and the, the last few days, they've been a little strange, and I was just hoping that maybe he'd be here and you'd have time to listen. Sorry. You wouldn't know where he is. Oh, I, no, like I said, I don't know the guy. Oh. Well, I guess I could call the diocese and mm -hmm. maybe they could tell me where he is. L listen, I, I don't mean to rush you, but I, I was on my way out. Oh. <clears throat> sure, okay. Well, it's nice to meet you. Mm. Why are the doors locked? Sorry? The doors to the church. Why are they locked? And during the day, it seems counterproductive. Did you take a good look on your way in? This is not the neighborhood that you grew up in. Don't people need the church more when times are hard? It, that's a lovely thought, and God bless you for it. Uh, but temptation is a slippery slope. If we kept these doors unlocked, everything inside would just walk away, and we wouldn't want that now, would we? I guess. You take care. Drive safe.
Babe, I was just trying to say hi. You just scared the hell out of me. Okay. I'm sorry. Hey, come here. Look at you. Hey. What's going on? Nothing. I just didn't know you were going to be here. Trust me, that wasn't what I had in mind when I came over here. What did you have in mind? Well, I felt bad that I had to work late and I wanted to come by and make that up to you. No, I don't, I don't know. And we haven't been spending much quality time together lately. That's true. Uh -huh, so, I thought we'd do something about that. Detective Ruiz. Yeah. Second precinct Sunday's over. Said so you should take a look at him right away. What is it? It's about that little girl. These are photos of the little girl being snatched? Yes, sir. They set up cameras last year after all the fires. Unfortunately, from the angle of the camera, we can't identify the suspect. <sighs> hmm. No. He was careful not to show his face to the camera. And the hoodie isn't helping either. These ones, taken yesterday morning, made him kind of suspicious. Are these time codes right? That's why they wanted you to see them. Look. Do we know where she is? Not yet. Again, the angle of the camera can't get a clean face shot. All right. Let's get a car over there right away. I want somebody watching this park 24-7 in case she comes back. Yes, sir. And tell them over at second to get that video surveillance tape to me right away. I want to look at it personally. Yes, sir. All right. <laughs> I saw her. Mary Ann Gray. It was dark. It, it was just like a closet, just bigger. Maybe she was in a basement. Listen to me. Okay, you were sleeping. It was just a bad dream. You've been thinking about this little girl, okay? You've been under a lot of stress lately. Of course she's gonna be on your mind. Now come on, go back to sleep. I heard the bells. What bells? At the old church. Like they skip a note. What are you talking about? I went to the old church in my neighborhood yesterday, and I heard the bells. They're broken, they skip a note. And I forgot about them. But they're the ones in my vision. Wait a minute, let me, let me get this straight. So, um, you went to your old neighborhood by yourself? I went to see Father Murray. You told me to talk to somebody. Yeah, okay, yes, I did, but... Look, baby, I want to help you through this, okay? Whatever this is. Whatever this is? Baby, I love you, okay? And I want to spend the rest of our lives together. I do, too. You asked me before why I came over here today. Well, I've been doing a lot of thinking about me and you, and things are doing well at work now, and I'm starting to move up the ladder, so... You know, maybe it's time that... You know, we start talking about marriage. Tony. Yeah. I mean, I want to get you a big house, 
fill it up with a bunch of kids, maybe even have a little girl that looks just like you. How's that sound? It sounds wonderful. But first, we need to start thinking about the future, our future. And we need to put all this stuff behind us, leave it in the past. You don't believe me? No, 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 no. I believe you. I believe you because I believe in you, baby. I'm just saying, what difference does all this make if you don't have any evidence to prove any of this is real? Hey, what are you doing? What is this? That's Marianne's barrette. I saw it slip out of her hair at the playground. And then I found it there, exactly where I knew it would be. So you saw this? In my vision. Before her parents gave that press conference and before the, the police reported that she was kidnapped. Claire, this is evidence. We gotta get this to the police. And tell them what? That I, I saw that in a vision? You won't even believe me. Okay, I'm sorry. Please. What are you gonna do? I don't know. Look, I can't think about marriage or anything like that. Not until this thing is figured out. <laughs> now, baby, wait a minute. Now, let's just let's just take a deep breath here, okay? And let's let's talk about this. Maybe I'm not the one. Clara. Come on, babe. Clara. I was wondering when I was going to hear from you. How are things going? <laughs> well, God bless you for being a man of your word. Yeah, no, everything's fine here. I, a woman came by asking for Father Murray, one of his parishioners, I think. Yeah. All right. Yes, we are truly blessed. Go forth and sin no more. in my yard. Nana, it's me, Clara. Clara? Well, will you look at who it is? Finally come to call. Hi, Nana. Get on up here, girl, and give your Nana a hug. <laughs> it's so good to see you. You too. But it's been too long. Let me get a good look at you. What you got yourself into, girl? No, everything's fine. Don't you find me? I know you, Clara. And I see worry in your eyes and in your heart. When I was a little girl, do you remember that? I remember. It's happening again. I don't understand it. I'm scared. Pull up a chair, we need to talk. This thing goes way back in our family, long before anybody can remember. We didn't talk about it much. We just knew. 
And that's how it was. What is it? Well, it's called by many names. My mother, she called it the second sight. All I know is it felt like a dream, except it was real. You see things too? Not much anymore. I think my mind's just too tired to get into it. In my visions, people are in trouble. More like they need help. Bless your heart. I used to see it in your eyes when you were a little girl. How heavy it weighed on you. You know, why don't you tell me? You have to understand, honey. This thing, it skips generations. And your mother, bless her heart, she didn't want to have anything to do with it. Broke my heart. But there was nothing I could do but just wait. <sighs> wait for what? For this day to come when you would need to know the truth. So what am I supposed to do now? Nobody can tell you that, Clara. What I can tell you is that this is a gift from God. From God? All this suffering? God gives us the second sight so we can help him do his work on this earth. Help stop some of the suffering. That's why you've got to pray for guidance and direction. Then, baby girl, you've got to listen. Mr. and Mrs. Gray, sorry to keep you waiting. I just got off the phone with forensics. What is taking so long? Didn't you read that note? They told us not to even come talk to the police. Okay, all right, Donna. No, it's not all right. The kidnappers are going to call you at any minute. And then what happens if they find out that we're here? What happens to Marianne then? Mrs. Gray, you did the right thing by coming here. And I promise you, we know how to handle this. All right. Is there anything that you've discovered from the ransom note? Oh, these things take time. And they're working as fast as they can. Then what are we supposed to do now? We'll wait for the call and see what their demands are. They can have whatever they want. I just want my daughter back. Donna. Don't you want her back too, Richard? Don't you care what happens to her? Of course I do, Donna. Of course I do. <laughs> Uh, Mrs. Gray, um, we have to do this right if you want your daughter home safely. What does that mean? I have a team set up in the next room with a GPS tracker synced to your husband's phone. Now, once the call comes in, they can bounce the signal back to the caller and we'll know exactly where they are. I can have a car at that location in a matter of minutes. I just don't want them to hurt her. Donna, no, no, we, we have to trust them. Okay, they know what they're doing. Uh, you know, while we're waiting, I do have something that I need to show you. It's a surveillance tape on the playground. Well, you have the kidnapping? Uh, yes, but the kidnapper was unidentifiable. But before we call the press conference about Mary Ann's disappearance, this woman showed up where she was taken on the playground. Now, she went to the exact same spot where your daughter was last seen. She knew exactly what she was looking for. Well, well who is she? Well, I was hoping you'd be able to tell me. No, I can't. I can't make it out. It's too blurry. I've seen her. Where? Where, Mrs. Gray? Uh, oh, if it was clearer, I could... Unknown caller. 
All right, we're on. And let's keep it down out here. Put it on speaker. Hello. Mr. Gray. Yes. You know who this is. You know why I'm calling. We're both businessmen, so I won't waste any time. I want 500,000 in unmarked bills, non sequential numbers, no die packs. Wait, what? I'll call back in 24 hours with further instructions. Wait, no, I want to speak to her. Where's Marianne? Put her on the phone. Stupid people, I told you, no cops. Hello, detective. I know you're listening. I'll let you tell them about all the other little girls, the ones who disappeared and were never seen again. Stupid, stupid people. Wait, 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 wait. Hello? Hello? Please tell me. You got him. Did you get it? What? Yeah. He, uh, somehow he, he bounced it back to your phone. As though he were in this room. What did he mean? Other little girls. What did he mean? No. I want it to stop, please. I can't take it anymore. Stop. Make it stop. Oh, God. I can't take it. The bells have stopped. You can uncover your ears now. They stopped. If that bothers you so much, why don't you just go someplace else? It ain't the bells. What? It ain't the bells. It's her. She won't stop. She just goes on and on. God. Listen, there she is. You hear her? It's like she's inside my mind, but I can't go. I can't leave her. Oh. I hear oh. things too sometimes. That poor little girl. What did you say? Oh, poor, poor child. Did you just say little girl? Mm. Uh, what do you mean, little girl? I told you already, over there. In the church? They took her. She was crying out for her mama because she didn't want to go, but they took her. She's still there. I hear her crying in my mind all the time. That's why I wait. In case she comes out. In case she needs my help. Oh, Thank you. I'm not crazy. I'm not. Thank you. Thank you. What do you think you're doing? Father Benjamin! It looks like you're trying to find a way in. Like you want to rob the church. Should I call the police? No. No, I... need to pray. Don't you lie to me. It's true. I... wanted to come inside. So I could think. Talk to God. You want to talk to God? Well, you better be more careful or you'll be talking to God face to face. Now get out of here. And if I see you sniffing around here anymore, the police will be the least of your problems.
Detective. Yeah. Forensic sent this over. No prints, no fibers, nothing. Whoever he is, this kidnapper knows what he's doing. He still hasn't called back? No. And I've got angry parents in the next room convinced that their little girl's on her way to Dubai or Qatar or God knows where. And that son of a bitch goes out of his way to make him think so. Maybe because that's what he's doing. And that's why we've got no leads on those other girls, that they've been moved out of the country or sold into slavery. Yeah, but if that's what he's doing, why the ransom for this one? No. This one feels different. Still no ideas on that mystery woman? We're running out of time. It's about time, baby. I was beginning to think that we were never gonna... Clara! Hi. Tamara, I need to talk to you. And I need to talk to you. I've been calling you all day. Why weren't you at school? Everyone's worried sick about Mary Ann. I had no idea what to think. And they said that you didn't even call in. It's about Mary Ann. What? I think I know where she is. Come in. So these, these things you see, these visions, you're saying that they're real, that they actually happen. I haven't seen them since I was a little girl. Okay, honey, how do you know? How can you be sure that Marianne is locked up in that church? I told you, I saw it. The bells. Marianne needs me. But you didn't see it. I mean, not the way that people usually see things. No. Claire, listen to me. If you go to the police with this visions thing, they are just gonna get suspicious of you. I know. But I have to do something. And I wish that you could. Honey, I heard that the kidnapper hung up on her parents whenever they found out they were with the police. Hung up? Yeah. How do you know that? Oh, people talk. And apparently they haven't heard anything since. Marianne's mother is going off the edge. I have to tell somebody. Tell who what, Clara? Maybe I can tell her parents and they can tell the police to at least check it out. And what if they don't believe you? Then what? You know them, Tamara. You're Marianne's teacher. If you come with me to the house... No, no, we... no, 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 no. Clara, I am not... Please, do this with me. While there's still time. Maybe I should just wait in the car. What? No. You said you would come. Come on. Miss Johnson? Yes. And um, this is Clara Randall, another teacher at the school. Can we please come in? Um, I'm afraid that Richard is not here. He uh, went to the police station to find out if... I'm so sorry. I can't imagine what this has been like for you. Why would anybody want to take my baby? Why would anybody want to hurt her? That's why I came to see you. To tell you to have faith. I do have faith, but I'm still scared. I've read all the stories about all the little girls who were kidnapped and, and they're taken all over the world. 
They never see their families again. She has not been taken anywhere. She's right here. She's in this city. How do you know? It's hard to explain. Um, sometimes I see things. See things? What, like a psychic? So you know where she is? Do you? I... I had a vision. But, um... There, but what? Her, Do you know where she is? If so, tell me! Mrs. Gray, please calm down. Wait, no, wait, wait, it was you. In the park. At the playground. The police showed me a picture of you. What have you done with my daughter? What? Mrs. Gray, you, wait, 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 are you a part of this too? Please, please. Wait, what did you Mrs. do with Gray, my baby? Listen, listen. What do you want? You want money? No. Here, no. Here, here. Here, I'll give you everything I have. Please, please. Please, just, just want want me. Please. I just want my please daughter. Just want what is going on? Oh, thank God. Thank God. That's the woman from the picture. No. She knows where Marion is. Donna, Donna, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Mr. Gray, my name is Clara Randall, and I am a teacher at Marion's school. What the hell have you been talking to my wife Just about? Just give her wherever she was. No, 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 no. This is no. a mistake. I, I don't want anything. I came here to help. Help? Help? This is your idea of help. Look at my wife. Look at the condition she's in. I had a vision. I saw Mary Ann in the basement in an old church. Saw. You had a vision. Yes. Mr. Gray, listen. You have you to be ashamed of yourself. Both of you. Get out of my house Wait, right no, no, now. No, 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 no. She was the one in the picture. She said she knows where Mary Ann is. Don, get out of my house! Now! <laughs> now. Great. Well, that didn't go very well. No, I think that's an understatement. Come on, Clara. Here, I want you to take these. Who is that? They'll help you sleep. No, no, I want to be awake for when the police call. Donna, mm -hmm. they are not going to call. Because I am going right back down there to make sure they stay on top of this. We are going to find her. Do you hear me? We are going to find her. You know how much she loves you, don't you? You're the only daddy she's ever known. She's the only daughter I've ever known. I love her like she's my own daughter. Now here, take these. Good. Uh, Richard. What do you think about the teacher? What about her? What she said about visions. Do you think it's possible? No. It's not possible. a message. Well, why didn't you call me back? Well, I wasn't sure why you called. I figured this was more of a, you know, face-to-face -face situation. Well, do you want to come inside? No, I'm, I'm good here. I went back to the church. Clara. She's in there. I know it. So this is why you called? Tony. If I can't go to the police, you're all I have left. I need your help. 
Now, there's a man at the church. His name is Father Benjamin. A priest. Well, he's not like any priest I've ever met. He scares me. And when I shook his hands, they were all calloused, like he's been digging ditches. He's hiding something in that church. I know it. Meaning that little girl? Yes. Just come with me. I, I, I need help finding a way inside. Are you serious? You want me to help you break into a church? I'm the only one who knows where she is. I'm the only one who can help her. I'm sorry, Clara, I can't. What? I came here today because I thought you wanted to talk about us. I was even hoping that maybe you change your mind and that you were looking forward to wanting to spend the rest of your life with me. I do. You know that. You know I do. But how? How, Clara? Because from where I'm sitting, it just seems to me you're getting more and more obsessed with these so-called visions. Obsessed? You know what? Yes, you are damn right. I am obsessed. Because I keep seeing her face. I keep hearing her cry out for her mother again and again. It's not going to stop until I go and I find her and I bring her back home. I mean, can't you see this? This is making me crazy. Okay, Clara. Okay. No, don't. Don't. Don't you worry. I won't call you anymore. Clara. longer and it'll just be you and me all the time. Mm. <laughs> so that means no more hiding. Mm. Mm. No more sneaking around. <laughs> <laughs> you know, baby, I gotta tell you, when I saw you in the living room with Donna like that, <sighs> you could have knocked me over with a feather. God, <laughs> hey, how do you think I felt? Well, why didn't you call me? Text me. Hell, send up a flare. Something. Because I didn't have a chance. Look, Clara's mind was already made up for me to come and trust. There is no way out without making her suspicious. Listen, I mean, I know she's your friend, but I have no idea what she was thinking. I mean, coming in there and talking to Donna about all of that stuff. That vision stuff. <laughs> she really believes that Marianne is in the church. Yeah. Okay, and this woman is allowed to teach our young children. Oh, All right. gosh. What if, right? What if some people really do have a sixth sense? Look, baby, the only way Clara could know where Marianne is is if she kidnapped that child herself. Are you serious? I am serious. Uh, what, do you really think she knows something? <sighs> You don't think all that stuff was nonsense? That's not Clara. Honey, listen, what harm would it do if you went to the police and said something? Let them go in that church and have a look. Yeah, maybe. But you know what I think? I think that the last thing that the police wants from me is to tell them how to do their job. Okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. And you know what I also think? Okay. <laughs> I think I did not come here tonight to discuss all of that psychic mumble jumbo. Mm. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> what are you doing? Mm. Huh? I thought you said you couldn't stay long. <laughs> no, we're good. Yeah? Yeah, she was so upset I had to give her a sedative, so... Oh. She's gonna be out all... I know. Richard, aren't you worried about what that woman is going to do when she finds out about us? No. No. I don't care anymore. But you should. What about your what? business? You built that place from the bottom up, and you know good and well she is not going to let you run it after the divorce. Hey, I built one company. I can build another. 
Besides, I told you already. I got something I'm working on. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have my own money real soon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> you cannot be serious. <laughs> Hold that thought. Okay. <sighs> <clears throat> yeah, that way you've been. I've been trying to reach you. What? <laughs> yeah, all right. No, I said I'll be there. Hey, you better make... Okay. Mm. What was that about? I gotta go. No. Are you serious? Baby, it's business, okay? Business? Yeah. Yeah? Yep. At this time of night? Baby, it's, uh, burning the midnight oil for you. You gotta be patient with me, okay? Soon enough, it'll just be you and me. I promise. I promise. think you're doing? Take it easy. No, 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 don't tell me to take it easy. What took you so long to call me back? Something funny is going on, and I don't like it. Yeah, you bet there is. That's why I thought it best to lay low for a while, especially after that stupid stunt you pulled. Well, my stupid stunt? I've got a gun hole cop and a hysterical wife all over me, not to mention some psycho teacher snooping around. We had this planned out, and you were flipping the script. I had to improvise. Improvise? All you had to do was call and set up the ransom payoff. Why'd you hang up like that? What was I supposed to do? I told you, no cops. Then you put me on the speakerphone and let your wife mouth off like that? It was obvious the cops were listening in. They, they were going to be able to trace the bounce back. Nobody said nothing about half a million dollars either. I told you $250,000. That was the ransom. Yeah, well, I did a little research on my own. That wife of yours? <laughs> She's sitting pretty. <laughs> Trust me. She can afford it. That is not the point. I am trying to walk out of this thing clean, and I can't do that if we start getting too greedy. Hey, that's the difference between you and me, Richard. You kidnap your own stepdaughter, and you want to still feel good about yourself. Son of a bitch. No. Half million dollars of ransom. 50-50 split right down the middle. No. Hey, 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 hey. Listen, we agreed. Your cut is 25%. Yeah, well, that's before things started getting complicated. What are you talking about? There's this lady she's been sniffing around, looking for the girl. Talking like she knows way too much. You know, so what? She came by my house, too. She teaches at Marianne's school. She reads tea leaves or something. She doesn't have any proof. She doesn't need proof, genius. She just needs to make enough noise. Okay, well, then we need to get busy finding someplace else that we can stash this kid. Like where? That's why I buried the priest in the back. So we can have this place. We don't need another place. We just need to get this deal done and over with before the cops show up. Or I'm going to pack that girl up and ship her out to spend the rest of her life pulling tricks for some sick Saudi pervert. Do we have an understanding? Look, just don't hurt the girl. That wasn't part of the plan. You just get my money. Fast. Where have you been? Oh, Jesus. Uh, 
Oh, Donna, yeah, I thought you'd still be sleeping. No. I've been up for hours waiting for you to come home. Where have you been all night? Donna, you... Listen, let's get you upstairs, okay? I asked where you been. Donna, listen, I told you where I was going. Don't you remember? The police station. I called the police station several times. They said you were not there. Okay, well, look, it's not like, you know, I checked in at the front desk. I was meeting with Detective Ruiz. I asked for him, too. They said that he worked late and then he went home. Don't lie to me, Richard. Donna, I am not lying to you. I... Okay. Okay, look, Donna, I didn't... I didn't make it to the police station. You've been so upset. I, I didn't want to make things worse by getting your hopes up. My hopes up? Wait, is this about Marianne? I didn't go to the police last night because the kidnappers called again. Oh, okay, listen. I can make this work. Okay, I can bring our little girl back home, but we can't waste any more time. We can't involve the police. Okay, fine, but what do they want us to do? They want a half a million dollars in cash. And they want it today. Now, Donna, I can't get that kind of money because if I could, I would have walked in that door with Marianne. But you can. Miss Randall. Huh? Detective Ruiz, Special Victims Division. I'm investigating the Marianne Gray kidnapping. What's happened? Have you found her? No, not yet, but I was hoping that I could ask you a couple of questions. Yeah, of course. All right, did you know Marianne? Uh, she's a student at your school? Yeah, that's right. So before her disappearance, did you notice anything unusual? Anyone hanging around? There was a car. Um, I saw it a couple times, and it came around when the kids were getting out or at recess. What kind of car? It was dark. A uh, sedan, old. There was missing a hubcap. Did you see who was driving? Sorry. So nothing really out of the ordinary, aside from the sedan? No. Can you tell me why you went over to go see Mrs. Gray yesterday? I got a call from Mr. Gray saying that you had upset his wife and that you were going on about how you had seen Marianne and knew she was all right. We had a misunderstanding. Yeah, well, Mr. Gray is under the definite impression that you were trying to shake him down, that you wanted to make money off of this situation. What? No, that's not what happened. I was just trying to help. How exactly were you going to do that, Ms. Randall? Some special insight? Is that you? Because if it is you, I'd be curious to know what you were doing there and what you found. And I promise you, if I find out that you have something to do with this case, something that you're not telling me... Nobody wants to find Marianne more than I do. Then why do I feel that there's still something you're not telling me? What did Mr. Gray tell you? Did he tell you that I had a vision? that I saw Marianne alive in the basement of an old church? Vision. No. He didn't tell me anything about a vision. Look, I know I sound crazy, but, but I, I see things and I can't stop dreaming about Marianne. Instead of doubting me, just go and check. Go to the Holy Redeemer Church in Meadowbrook. Please, just go look.
Excuse me. I got a message from a Detective Ruiz. Detective Ruiz! Mr. Prescott, thank you for coming in. This way, please. Tony, I need you to be straightforward with me. Detective, I'm... I'm a little confused. Why are you asking me so many questions about Clara? You are a friend of hers. Well, I don't see how that is any of your business either way. Let me explain to you how it is my business. Yesterday, Miss Randall paid a visit to Marianne's parents and left them with the impression that she was somehow involved in the kidnapping. What? And being as how I'm investigating this crime, I have questions to ask about why she would want to do it. Well, she wouldn't. That's just ridiculous. And yet here we sit. Tony, look, you care about her? So what's really going on here? Look, Detective, I think you should be talking to Claire about this. I did. And she was less than forthcoming and said something about a vision in an old church. Well, now I'm talking to you. She was at that park, at the same spot where Marianne was taken. Hours before we even put the word out that the kid was even missing. Now, nobody would have known that. Nobody except the kidnapper. She didn't have nothing to do with this. Maybe. But she was there looking for something. And she found it. Now, I need for you to convince me why I shouldn't charge her right now with interfering in a police investigation. And that's just for starters. been why weren't you at school i saw the kidnapper in my visions it's tony what no clara i saw him it's tony he was there with marianne clara honey that doesn't make sense with these visions you can't be sure I'm sure something terrible is gonna happen. I have to get her out of there. Tony, calm down. Where are you? I'm, I'm at the church I told you about. Okay, I, I know exactly where that is. I want you to stay there because I am on my way. Just don't do anything until I get there. Come on, come on, where are you? Donna, what took you so long? I have been calling you for the last half hour. They asked a lot of questions at the bank. They're going to have to report the withdrawal. It doesn't matter, Donna. It's your money. I just have to get it to them. I want to come with you. No, 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 no. It's better if you wait here. Listen, I don't know what these people are capable of. Well, that's why I want to come for Marianne. She's going to be scared. Donna, I will take care of her. Now I have to go. when it's done. Ah, oh, he forgot his phone. 
I am tired of trying to convince everybody that this is real. Something is going to happen to that little girl. I can feel it. You sure about this? I'm going in there. Hey, hey, open up! You can't lock me out of church, I need help! Please, somebody, can you hear me? It's an emergency! What the hell do you think you're doing? This is a place of peace and tranquility, and you are disturbing it. So get out of here before I call the cops. God is gonna get you for turning me away in my time of need. God is gonna get me. That's a good one. Trust me, that ship has sailed. Now take a hike. No, 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 please, Father, please! Father, please, please, it's an emergency, Tamara, what are you doing here? Waiting for you. We need to help her. Help who? What are you talking about? Clara, she's in that church looking for Mary Ann. I told you that in my message. Look, Tamara, I never got a message from you. Well, if you didn't get my message, why are you here? Wait, she, she's in there right now. Richard, what's, what's going on? Okay, Tamara, you have to get out of here. Richard, what's... No, Tamara, just what's go! What's going go on? Now! We've got a problem. That teacher, she's here, and she's looking for Mary Ann. Are you crazy? It's just you, me, and the kid here. When's the last time you checked? Mary Ann. It's Miss Randall. Maybe just say something. Tell me where you are. Mary Ann! Listen to me. We're done. We're splitting up the money, and you're gonna disappear, okay? I don't wanna see you anymore. Wait, 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 wait. what are you talking about? That woman see me. She tell the cops. Okay, well, then you better call back under the rock where you came from. No, man. Listen, don't be stupid about this, Gray. I, you seem so... Mr. Gray. We're gonna get rich off of this. We can't afford any loose ends. I can't let you kill that teacher. <laughs> really? You didn't have any problem when it came to the priest. Now all of a sudden you got a problem with the, with the teacher? Mrs. Gray. 
Wait, why are you? Bitch! Where is she? Who are you talking? Where is Marianne? Sound okay? Shh, be quiet. We'll be right back. Tony, let her go. Clara, baby, I'm sorry, okay? I should have believed you what you told me earlier. Come on, let's get her out of here. Put that down. Richard! What are you trying to do, huh? You're stealing my baby and my husband? I don't understand what you're yes, talking about. What the hell you do? You've been sleeping with my husband while I'm at home grieving over my missing child? I will personally make sure that you never step foot into that school ever again. Now get the hell out of my way so I can find my baby. Get out of jail. Yeah, say hello to your new husband for me. You piece of shh. Baby, baby, please. Go to hell. Can I speak to you both for a minute? Do you want to arrest me now? Okay. I deserve that. No, I still don't understand this whole thing, but... I guess I owe you both an apology. You think? I'm sorry. I don't know how you were able to find out where she was, but I'm glad you did. Thank you. 